Hello AC Universe and welcome to Canada Crossing. Today we are working on our winter section of our four season islands. If you've been following along with us you've already seen the summer and then we just did the fall and now we're moving of course logically into winter. So let's go have a look. Now if you've Watch the other two videos, the spring and the fall one. You'll remember that we left off the fall section. I had this little transition period that I didn't, uh, hadn't started anything with. So I just kind of threw down a little bit of path, a couple little fall decorations to kind of finish it off. And then I decided to bring us to the winter section. Uh, we're going to create this land bridge and to kind of transition. So what I ended up doing, because I already had a river on this side I wanted to just bring it right across so I just created a little valley um, for something I just kind of threw together I actually think it turned out kind of cool uh, it's not necessarily you know accessible uh, without a ladder you could get in there but it, it just looks really nice and I even because I know I was gonna have extra bridges to use out of the eight year old uh, allotted so I threw a bridge in there and uh, yeah I'm quite, I, thought, I think it's kind of cool um, anyways, and that's going to bring us to the winter section. So again, I did quite a lot of it already. Um, there's so many great Christmas and winter decorations. So I've done a, a, a majority of the section off camera, but we are going to do the last little bit on camera, not even speed build, we'll just do it together on camera, just so you can see how it's kind of my thought process and what we did to make it look winter, even though it's July and the middle of summer. Um, on my island right now. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it's kind of um, just using this snow pattern. This that's technically a snow path, and we inverse, uh, inverted it, and now it's more like ground cover. Um, so I really like the way it's turning out. Of course, it's not perfect. You're going to see little patches, but to me, it's almost look, look, looks like it was just started to melt away. Um, this is Marshall's house, so I tried to pick, you know, to me his house looks very winter, even especially with the white part on top, almost look, looks like it's snow covered on the roof. Um, so I really like that, and of course like the whites and blues, very wintry. Um, and then on the upper section, it's a nice little iceway arch, and then this ice background looks great at night. Um, when we do the tour of the full island, it's definitely going to be at night, because this section looks so good at night. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can't plant trees necessarily because of the the patterns I use on the ground. You can't plant a tree through a pattern, so I'd have to take out a block of pattern and plant a tree, which then, of course, you're going to see the green grass all around the square where the tree is planted. So I didn't really want that. So using these ice trees up here kind of gives you the, the tree illusion without having to go and plant an actual tree. So I did want some trees, so here, you see I did plant some trees, but I put it inaccessible behind uh, this stone fence. So yeah, you can't really see that there is grass planted all around those trees because of the fence. And you know, threw some extra decorations back there to kind of mask it. Um, up here we have Molly's house and Eric's house, so kind of the two log cabins. Um, I gifted Eric the Christmas wreath that you get at Christmas. He's kept it up. I gifted Marshall and Molly both the wreaths that you make um, with the Christmas ornaments. And they had them up for, I think, two days and then took them down. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe um, there's some sort of mechanic in the game where the game knows it's not Christmas, so they don't leave it up. Um, so hopefully... When I get, ever get around to doing the final tour and, and saving the dream address, I'm going to make sure I gift them the wreaths the, the day before because I think it's going to look really cool. So bear, uh, same, same thing behind Eric's house. Again, uh, just putting the trees behind there and kind of covering with the fence. He's got like a little ice cafe next to his place. Uh, and then just up here is a little seating area. Nice little fire keep you warm on a cold winter day um, and then just the fountain so I left this last se section here so we could kind of do it together so you can kind of see what I did um, in case this is something you've ever 
been interested in doing, kind of changing the seasons. Uh, if you watched the fall video, you'll know that we did the, the same kind of thing with a path. So in that case, I put dirt, dirt path, the dark dirt path all down. And then I had this fallen leaf pa pattern that I used and it kind of became the ground cover to kind of trick you to make it feel like it was fall. Uh, and I think we were really successful with the fall section. And I also think if you were just here again, especially more so at night, but I mean, even just like, look, like, like right here, it, it looks like winter to me. Um, but definitely let me know what you think. Do you think this is an ex a successful illusion? Um, so why don't we get started? I'll just walk you through kind of what I do. Um, so we're going to kind of continue this path off. We're going to continue it right to the stairs and put some stone, more stone fencing all around the edge here. And we're going to throw, uh, I have some uh, white uh, Christmas trees we're going to throw up there. So it's going to be kind of, you know, classy little white um, customized Christmas tree farm. I don't know. That's not a thing, but you know what? You can make anything a thing. So we're going to start off by putting the path down. So basically all you have to do, so here's my snow path. Uh, I'll put the creator code in the description below if you're looking for that. And then I also have these snowflakes just to kind of put in on the actual stone path to give you that more illusion of snow. Um, so all we're really going to do is put these paths around here. I think I'm going to start actually with that one. Um, and we're going to kind of give the illusion that the path has been, you know, shoveled so people could walk down it. And that's what the actual path is going to be. So we're just going to put this here and kind of bring it up. So what I like to do when I'm doing this in inverted path um, is do all the edges first and then fill in the middle section here. Um, with the actual tool and just go around and fill it all in. I mean, everybody has a different way of doing things. Uh, there's no right or wrong way. Whatever works best for you. See, I don't like that. I don't I don't like two uh, things of the path. Like, I know I just did it there, but I didn't really have a choice because I didn't want it to cut into the path. But I don't really like two of the paths next to each other necessarily because it just looks almost fake. I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody or if that's just in my own head. Um, so I'm going to probably cut ahead. Let's just kind of, you know, doing the same thing on this side. Kind of, you're trying to make it look like it's an actual path. So doing it on both sides, you know, and, and I like going in and out. Um, kind of gives it a little more... I don't know, rustic kind of look. And, you know, not not a perfectly, you don't want a perfectly straight path. So you're just gonna kind of go in and out and all around and just kind of make it look like a path. So see how that's gonna kind of look like, like a path that's been kind of shoveled? You know, like you can see what I've already done here. So I'm going to connect these two. And uh, just to make it look like a solid, it's just going to be one, one road. I'm not going to go all over the place with this. And then fill it all in the snow. Let's see, I'm going to try to line it all up again. That's the tricky part. Okay, so it's all that side is done like that. So then we're gonna grab our designer app. We'll start some construction. Let's get the hard hat. Oh, we're gonna lose our blue hat. All right, so we're gonna go here, gonna go to our custom designs, gonna grab that middle section of the path, and then we're just gonna fill out all the snow. Now, the creator of this code didn't put a blank spot, a transparent spot in this part of the path. So as you can see, it doesn't see where this ends 
because there's a transparent spot in it because it's it's ending where the actual stone path ends they didn't put a transparent spot in this middle section so it doesn't end which is good and bad and it's good and bad for a couple of reasons um it's good because to see here it's actually going to cover more of the grass because it goes all the way to the edge which is you know that helps the sell the illusion that we're trying to sell that there's actually you know no grass it's all snow um where, where what i don't like about it is that it doesn't line up with these other pieces um so if you've seen other places on the island like i mean if you really look you can kind of tell like right here you know these edge pieces aren't but these middle pieces do go right to the stairs but you'd have to be looking really close to notice that kind of thing and, you know, yes, I just told all you, so now you're going to notice it and, and look for it. Um, but if someone's just visiting your island, they're, they're not going to notice. They're going to be so blown away that you've got snow in the summer. And, you know, you're not in the southern hemisphere. Um, they're not going to care that, you know, there's little cracks of grass. And let's be real, depending on what time of winter it is, there is little cracks of grass sneaking through the snow. So it gives you that more it's almost more realistic let's go with that we'll go with that I, I like that so i'm gonna finish off this path here and uh, fill it all in and then i'll meet you right back Okay, so we are back. We finished filling in all the snow. And now we're just going to add a couple little snowflakes here and there. Just again, we're just making it look a little bit more wintry. And, you know, kind of adds to it. I don't like to add a ton. Um, but just a, just a few. Because to me, they kind of look fake but I mean we're making it look like winter in July so it's it's already pretty fake so now we're gonna build our fence all the way around again I recommend fencing areas like this because when you're in the area that's all fenced off it kind of just sells it better and it helps cover up some of the flaws um, you know I wish the fencing would go right to the edge of course it does not but like I said, when you're walking through it, at least, it definitely looks a lot cleaner. And you kind of don't, you don't really notice the edges as much because they're kind of hidden by all the, the uh, fencing. So you'll notice that all this, the winter si section of my island, there is fencing everywhere. Um, like everywhere. So we're just going to finish it off. I tried to mix it up too on the other level of the winter island i have the iron and stone fence which i do think looks very wintry as well i was debating whether to use more of the corral fence the wood fence back with the uh, two log houses eric and molly but ultimately i did decide to like well, I, I used both but i mostly used the stone fence along where their wooded area is i just I thought it, it felt better. Would uh, the stone with the snow just looks really and kind of up against the house? I just thought I was really happy with how it turned out. So we've got our fences, and now we just need to decorate the area. So what do we have? We've got some trees. I know. I think I have some street lamps. Of course, if you've watched any of my builds on any island, you know I, I'm obsessed with street lamps. They're everywhere on every island I've ever had. I love them. Um, let's put a little garden one on that side. Chose the green. 
uh, up here. I was kind of... I have kind of all the colors of street lamps, the four that are available. Um, but I was running out of green. I wanted mostly green up here. But I kind of mixed the black in. I just didn't want the white because to me that's too much white. Um, and I didn't really want to start trading for more right now. Even though green on my other island, it is. That's the, the street lamp color that I have by default. So I could easily ship myself some more, which I might still fix that in the end. We'll see. So we're going to add these, these trees. I like to also, here's a, the trees. So I like to turn them different directions. So um, the decorations are slightly different. Like you can see that little stocking. It's not there on this side. It's on this side. So just kind of, I don't know, like place them different ways. Uh, I like, I wanted an illuminated tree also in the white or silver uh, combina color combination. Um, frozen tree, um, just to add a little bit more. I might actually put the frozen tree closer to the lodge furniture, the lodge furniture, the log furniture. Um, it's kind of big. Maybe I'll put it towards the back. This is something, I don't know if you guys are the same. I'm constantly putting stuff down and changing it. And that's something in my speed build, at least I can kind of hide the fact being like, oh, no, I always put it there. That's where it was the whole time, guys. Um, and when you're doing it kind of just here, I, I uh, you get to see me kind of in my head being like, oh, maybe it should be over here. But that's real. I think we all do that. And just drop these last little ones here. Nice. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, so this is our winter side. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you can buy the illusion here. Are you feeling that we are in the winter? Are you suddenly cold and need some hot cocoa to drink? I've, I happen to have some right here. Um, so next we are going to move on to the spring side and then we will be done this island. Can't believe it. Um, I've kind of put down a start of the spring. I don't want to give too much away, but we're walk down here. We're going to get into the spring side, but that's next on the list. So stick around, make sure you subscribe. So you'll know when the spring video is coming out, like the video, and we'll definitely see you next time here at Canada Crossing.